Welcome back everyone, it's your friend Herman. And in today's video, I'm gonna go over some of the Chinatown restaurants that I went to while in New York City that can accommodate vegans, vegetarians, and non-vegetarians alike. This next place I'm going to is called Spicy Moon. It's a vegan Chinese restaurant. First time ever trying um, a vegan restaurant to begin with. So this will be a new experience. This one, it was recommended by one of my friends. I've never been there before, so uh, yeah, I, I love Chinese food, so this is a good way to try it out. I found a yeah, vegan uh, Sichuan restaurant, Spicy Moon. After walking in, you can tell it's a very popular spot because even though it was pretty late at nighttime when I went, it was pretty packed. They, in particular, they specialize a lot in noodles, and in particular, they got the dandan mian or dandan noodles. And in this case, they would normally have beef, but they replaced it with vegetables. I also got their buns, also filled with uh, with vegetables. I couldn't really tell what this one was, but it was really, really good. I actually really enjoyed it. And because it's a bar also, they have a great selection of cocktails. And I ended up finishing it up with some mochi for dessert, and it was very, very sweet. Now for my upcoming option, which is called Shalom Japan, is one that I already mentioned in my, one of my previous videos, but I wanted to mention as an honorary mention because they do have some really good vegetarian options. Even though it's not a vegetarian restaurant, this means that you can go with any of your friends that eat a little bit of everything and everybody can enjoy something they like. I also really like the atmosphere of the restaurant itself. It's small, so make sure you make reservations if you go with more than two people. But I really enjoyed the spicy vegetarian ramen. And as always, I finished it off with a creme brulee cheesecake. No visit for me is complete to New York City without coming to Chinatown. It's, uh, it's, it's not possible. It's <laughs> something that I have to do every time. My first stop today is this Buddha Bodai. It's a, a vegan restaurant that my one of my friends uh, pointed me to. Should be good. It looked good. It's a uh, Mostly for dim sum, so vegan dim sum. I've never had such a thing, so uh, yeah, might as well try it out while I'm here. I like it that here they had a nice big menu to choose from, and they did a really good job in replacing all the dim sum with meat options with ones that are vegan. Some, like this one for example, was vegetarian because it did have egg in it, there was really no way to replace the texture. But all the other options that I got were very much vegan, including actually the tripe. I was very curious about how they imitated that, but all the options were really, really good. That was a really, really good vegan restaurant. I think if more vegan restaurants or vegetarian restaurants were that good, I'd be, I'd have no problem being, being a vegetarian. But usually, sadly, they're not. But that one was exceptional. And the one from, from Friday as well, really, really good. And for my last restaurant on this video, I hopped on the subway and headed over to Flushing, Queens to go to the Chinatown there, which is really the big Chinatown in New York City. I made it over here to Flushing, Chinatown. And the thing is about the Chinatown here in New York City is not just one. And it, there's the Chinatown in Manhattan, which is several blocks, and it's not just one area. It's actually multiple blocks, and they're not they're, they're very spread out. There's also one in Brooklyn, but the main Chinatown in New York City is actually out here in Flushing, in Queens. And it's huge, it's huge. It's probably the closest thing to going to China uh, while still being in the U.S. Because really everything is, a lot of places are in Chinese, a lot of the, well, a lot of the business signs and everything. It's, it's all in Mandarin. You, you will not see anything in English. And so that, that's why it feels so much like if you're in Asia, right here in the Flushing. So right here is Nurlan, a uh, Xinjiang uh, Chinese restaurant. So the food is going to be quite different than a lot of other Chinese food because it's from the Western region. So you're not going to find pork because it's, it's a Muslim region. And you're not really going to find beef either, but you're going to have a lot of lamb and chicken. 
One of the very first things I noticed was the handmade rugs that you'll see decorating the walls. And when going through the menu, you'll see that the menu is very akin to what you'll see in dishes found in Central Asia rather than Eastern China. So I went with these delicious spicy chicken skewers and also the this soup made with lamb ravioli. It wasn't ravioli, but that's what they called it on the menu. Man, it is freezing today. I had to put my, my hat back on. And so my voice might be a little hard of hearing just because it's 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 so cold in my face it's, it's freezing but this chinatown was, was awesome it the, the food i've never had it i've seen junk food before that was definitely my first time and it was delicious it that one is not vegetarian friendly though so if for if for those of you who are or have friends that are vegetarian don't go there because you're not gonna find anything even remotely close to vegetarian but it was it was delicious well that was it for this video if you enjoyed uh, make sure you leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment down below which chinese restaurant whether vegan or not is your favorite uh, here in, in new york city and until next time bye